represented by my power of attorney, right? Yeah, you can't. You can't. You still can't go after a judge. You still can't go after. What I'm saying is, because they're playing by the rules of the court, you have to show that they're standing outside of the rules of the court, that they knew what the rules of the court were, and they deliberately broke the rules of the court. And I'm telling you, you ain't going to find a judge who's breaking the rules of the court. But like no. I said, you're right. People who've heard my show in the past, they'll say, my sister cursed like me and my mom and my dad uh, back when my dad was alive because we wouldn't give a 20 grand for a candy fee for an attorney to go for the family court against her Gambino husband who had three Gambino attorneys and and I explained to how simple it just worked the court and she cleaned those clocks because she just asked the uh, she just when she went into the court she says I present I am my case before the court I, am, I lay my case before the court and the judge was like well you're here represented I said I am my case I'm now before the president in court present I, I present I am my case to court I lay my case before the court, you know. Mm -hmm. So then uh, she did it three times. She said that nonsense. So then when the other side tried to speak, my sister said, is that my husband speaking? And she said, no, why is that? And she said, I told you that, uh, you know, that any uh, the testimony, you know, to be admissible as evidence has to be under oath affirmation. Is these attorneys willing to testify under oath affirmation that anything they say now is true? I said, of course not. I said, well, then, yeah. you know. Before we were seen, say it's my wish that I be sworn in and the other side be sworn in through a law affirmation, and that therefore it could be uh, admissible evidence to be pressed upon the record in the event and or for appellate review if it's necessary. So my, I just told my sister a couple little quick things to say like that, and the judge is like, absolutely. Then nobody's allowed to press anything onto the record unless they're sworn in. That's the rules of the court. Right. And can you whip that? Does the judge know the rules? Damn right, the judge knows the rules. Yeah, but is what is he? Can, can, what I'm saying, she could have held it close to her hand, which she did. She, my yeah. sister, did as a poker face and kept it close to hand. So then when she she ambushed the other side, and she cleaned their clock. Right. You know, she was going to get her clock cleaned because they had three Gambino's attorneys. Man, you better believe this judge knew who these freaking attorneys were. You know, you better believe, man. The judge had looked and said, had to say to the, the attorney, so he said, hey, my hands were tied. You know, I wanted to help these fellas. We're all on the same team here. But uh, my hands were tied. What was I going to do? She knows the rules. I can't help you, guy. You're on your own. I don't care this guy paid you a million dollars. I don't care what his mama is. I don't care who he's related to. I don't care. She called me out. And I gotta accept the rules. I'm not going to jail. I'm not gonna, you know, be held in contempt of court. My, you know, the judge is not stupid. The judge knows the rules. Court. Right. Well, I, in, in my case, in, in my case, I'm the respondent. Um, you know, whatever she's she's doing against me. But uh, I can remember here. Here's one. You know, uh, there's, there's just little things that have tipped me off. I, you know, everybody's a little bit uh, well, maybe not everybody, but. Uh, little, uh, you know, careful about things when they want to go to court and, you know, with the, the more being uh, free and keep with their own and, you know, rather than the, the whole judicial system, right? You there? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I see. Okay. And uh, so I, I've gone through four attorneys and uh, I think it was the uh, third attorney we were walking to court and I showed them my suit. Yeah, I, I was listening to someone else and talking about this kind of stuff and I said, uh, you know, I, I have my certificate of life birth. Well, right away, she heard her eyes just, like, bulged out. I asked her to be the, um, to, um, certify, well, um, what is it? not a name for it, um, but actually stamp it, you know, so that I could submit it in court and stuff like that. And it, it never got to the point where she was like, who do you think you are? Do you think you're above the law? Do you think you're above everybody else? Do you think that you can't do this and that and the next thing? And I was just like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting, you know, to be, so I wandered her and she just lost it on me. Right. That's what the judge said to you? No, this this is my lawyer as we were we were in oh, the parking lot and walking to the courthouse. Oh okay. and uh, so so I think she lost confidence in me because if I brought it up, I think that then what would she have been found in contempt in representing a young man? Oh she yeah, or, like I said, this is the right when when you hire an attorney, right, they they, they know, you know. That you know, the, the language that you're speaking is totally foreign to what she's speaking, and, and she's feeling that where you're going with this, you know, that uh, that you're trying to bring her into the world of man. She knows she can't go there with you. 
Like, why, why'd you hire me? You know, just do it on your own. You don't need me. You're confident. Yeah, you're a man. What about I'm staying on the court? She was looking at the paycheck. And, and, and that's solely what she was after. Because it was well, kind of like, oh, she's like, well, just, just consent, to this, consent to this. And she just, you know, <laughs> in my world, she left me up completely. Well, it's just like I said, it's just like I helped these folks up uh, up in Virginia the other day, and where I live. And um, the first thing that lawyer did is he wants to recuse himself from the case. Because the paperwork they put in there is like, well, hell, you know, you want to go in there as a man? There's nothing I can do. You know, you want to act like a man? You want to act like a woman? Do it. But uh, you, you don't need me no more. So he wants yeah, to no, recuse she, she, she would never, never admit to that. Um, oh no! So no, the lawyer, lawyer, lawyer wants to, rec- that wants him, that wants to recuse himself. Which I said is fine. I said, but like I said, like any contractor, like I'm a contractor, and an attorney's basically a contractor. I said, well, you basically tell him, it's, it's, tell him, it's like fine. If, if until you do 100 percent of the job, you don't get paid. So any money I've given you to this point, I want to be reimbursed because you didn't complete the job that we, you, I contracted you to move my case to the court. So obviously, if you don't want to move my case to the court, you only want to do 10%, 20%, 30%, you know, I want my money back. Yeah, well, I don't know whether it's a, it's a, it's an American thing or Canadian thing, but uh, I don't know, they, uh, they get a little bit of money from the beginning, and then, uh, you know, like, when you're, you, you put the court up to you, well, uh, preliminary round is not trial. Uh, they go to the court and they do the thin edge of the wedge, you know, like a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, everything's in little slices. Right. Uh, the judge yeah. say, okay, well, yeah, okay, so you've, uh, you, you need to sell the house. Well, my, my first round would actually be dealing with the kids first, but hers was more financial. So, okay, just slice up the house. And then we'll do that, and then we'll do that, and then I finally get to the kids. Right. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say to this, about this man, like I was trying to say, with uh, suing, like not a lawyer, you sue him as a contract. You say his name is Bob. I paid him to do X, Y, and Z for me. He chose to do X and Y, but he refuses to do Z. I want my money back. And take it in front of a jury. You don't sue off a of malpractice. That's insane. Because then it's based upon their rules, what they believe malpractice is, what they believe a lawyer is, what they believe an attorney is. It's just like, no, I paid a man named Bob to do X, Y, and Z. Right. He refused right. to do X, Y, and Z. I demand $10,000 back and just file in the local district court. You don't know. I didn't have a court. What I'm saying is you don't tell a court clerk he's a lawyer. It's none of her damn business. You just say, hey, a man named Bob said he'd do X, Y, and Z. Bob knows what X, Y, and Z is. Don't you worry about a court clerk. Bob didn't do X, Y, and Z. I want Bob. Bob refuses to pay me back. I want to bring a trial by jury into this open into this public courthouse. I need a court date oh. set, 22 days, if Bob fails to settle with me. Okay. I'm well, saying I, this I is what I do. I, right. I'm just saying this is what I would recommend to people who want to go after a lawyer instead of saying, you know, because this is what these folks at Virginia are asking me. Like, well, how am I going to go get money from this guy? We still come out practice. I said that's ridiculous. Because he's yeah. doing everything according to his license. Right. He's not breaking any rules. But I, I but never had a contact minute, with them for what the outcome would be. It doesn't matter what the outcome will be. I said, okay. He said he wants to leave the case. Is the case over? No. Is the case final? No. So when you take it in front of a jury, you're going to say, look, when you hire a guy to do a job, don't you expect him to finish it to the end? Yes. Don't worry that he's a lawyer. Don't worry if he's a doctor. Don't worry if he's a machine mechanic. Don't worry if he's a, a welder. When you hire somebody to do a job and he said he's going to do the job, do you not expect him, yes or no, to go to the end? Period. Right. That's right. all I want to know. I didn't ask about the outcome because, like I said, if you say, well, I hired a phone mechanic, a uh, phone install or a satellite dish communicate. When I hooked the server to the Internet to come here and hook up my Internet, I expected to get on the Internet when, I, when he walked out that door. I can't get on the Internet. I'm not going to get my effing dime. You're going to come back and hook that cable up to where you missed it, man. Well, I'm going to hire somebody else to do the job. That's all. I'm right. not going to let the guy back in my house because I don't trust him anymore. He's incompetent. He surely clearly shows that he's incompetent. But like I said, if you want to play by their rules and say, well, under Florida Code 123, Section 345, uh, I'm going to assume for malpractice. Oh, well, you don't think the rule book is set into that, their favor? That you're not going to get any kind of, uh, even a, a hearing into a court? Oh, please. Right. I tried that nonsense. I think I tried that nonsense in Alabama. 
I, like I said, I got nine attorneys. My wife got eight. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. All we asked was, why is our child in state custody? Can somebody please tell us? See, for six years, we were led to believe it's because me and my wife had done some sort of wrong to the child. The, on the 30th hearing that we were in, the state prosecutor, the judge, the ninth judge, finally said to the prosecutor, tell us, man, why? Is it based on a contract or did he do any, did he commit a crime? And the, the, the state prosecutor said, contract. I said to the judge, it took 29 times for me to be here. This is time number 30. You finally got out of that clown's mouth when I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I went nine lawyers. She went through seven. One of my lawyers is sitting right behind me. Right, Tom? Tom, how long are you lawyer? Four years. Did you know why we were here any time we were here? No, they never told me why. There you go, judge. Does it make sense to you, judge? So you don't think I tried to sue my previous eight attorneys for malpractice? It, it ain't gonna go nowhere. When I, when I brought them into the bar to have the bar exam them, they said it's gonna take about three years before we even have a hearing on them, any kind of disciplinary. It's right. insane. I, I think even, I'm not gonna even with the... Right, I'm gonna assume as an attorney, I'm gonna go up them as Bob. And when a jury finds out what the hell Bob did to me, you better believe the jury's going to render me a verdict on my behalf, regardless of what their malpractice code says. Mm -hmm. uh, I think <laughs> up here in the uh, for the Law Society of Upper Canada, you're given 30 days to make uh, some kind of complaint towards the lawyer. Yeah, right. But like oh. I said, that's because they they wrote those rules for their benefit, not for your benefit. Exactly. That's that. So you go you go on as a man, you make your own claim against them. In, right, in your own court, in a public courthouse. Exactly, right. not by their rules, by your rules. And you want the jury to believe what their rules are good or their rules are good. And let the jury, right. fuck, let the jury swing it. Right. But like,